Hey guys, Brett Weiss here. Thank you so much for tuning in. Got a lot of really cool stuff to show you today. I mentioned in a previous video that I hadn't, that I hadn't done a lot of game chasing lately. Haven't had a lot of pickups because of course the pandemic where stores were shut down uh, for a few weeks there and we're just, it's, it's more of a hassle to get out with the masks and the sanitizing and the social distancing and everything. Although I have tried to support my ro local retailers, there, but there just wasn't a lot of game chasing going on. However, over the week, or just a couple of days ago, my wife and I took a little road trip to Oklahoma City, made some really cool pickups. I wanna show you those here in just a second. Plus, I was cleaning my office today, and I found a stash of items that I had picked up just prior to the pandemic. You know, in the few months leading up to the pandemic, I had picked up a bunch of stuff that I haven't shown you guys yet that was just accumulating in a stack in my office. Got some really cool games, DVDs, toys, books, and some other stuff. Just So check it out. Hang on for those as well. But first, I want to show you the items I found just recently, a couple of days ago. So while we were in Oklahoma City, we went out to Route 66 and just checking out some of the historical locations. We went to this really cool, quirky little collectible shop. And wow, I made a major score. I've talked to you guys about this cartoon before. Absolutely love Thundar the Barbarian, and I found a lunchbox from that cartoon. This uh, early 80s cartoon is awesome. I absolutely love it. It was it predated He-Man, and it's sort of a more serious take on that type of genre. You know, the sword and sorcery. Love this cartoon. It is absolutely phenomenal. Great writing, great character design, great art, a lot of excellent creators involved. Check out this beautiful lunchbox. Now it is a plastic lunchbox, but it's awesome. It's just super cool. They didn't make a ton of uh, Thunder the Barbarian merchandise because it wasn't as popular as shows like Transformers or He-Man or Ninja Turtles, but it was a great cartoon and they made a few things including this excellent lunchbox. This is a killer score. And inside the lunchbox was this awesome thermos. It did come with a thermos. How cool is that? Excellent character designs by legendary comic book artist Alex Toth, or Toth as some people say. Just gorgeous. That together only cost me $23. That was a great score. Goes for a lot more than that on eBay, but those are going into my collection. I love Thundar the Barbarian. Now let me show you a couple of other things I picked up just a couple of days ago. Uh, we went to a retro gaming shop in town and um, I picked up Carnival factory sealed for the Atari 2600. Now in my recent uh, top 50 retro games, I mentioned Carnival, the arcade version and ColecoVision version as my one of my favorite games of all time. I just love this target shooter. Well, I was super excited to find the factory sealed version for the 2600, really cool. Now it's not like a factory seal as far as, you know, shrink wrap. It is the Coleco that they glued these, but it is sealed, never been open. And uh, it's just in really nice shape. I love that orange coloring, beautiful box. I'm tempted to open this in a video cause I'm curious to see what's inside. If there's like a little Coleco catalog and I love having complete copies of games like this. Right now I think I just have the, well, no, I just have the cartridge for the Carnival, the 2600 version. But uh, the 2600 version is pretty good. But since Carnival is one of my favorite games, I would, I, I probably will open this in a video. Let me know if I should do that. All right, something else I found just recently. While we were in Oklahoma City, we went to a couple of half-price bookstores, and I found the official Superman quiz book in their clearance section for just $2. Now, typically Half Price Books sells their stuff for half of cover, but the older books, they do mark up a little bit. And this was probably marked up to, I really don't know, maybe five or $10. That's pretty typical. But this one was marked down their clearance to just $2. I was surprised it made it to clearance because this is a tough book to find. These older um, superhero paperbacks from the 70s and 80s are pretty tough to find and go for you know anywhere from five to $20, $25. And I've seen this one before for 10, 15, and um, it's really neat. It's illustrated throughout. Great addition to my superhero paperback collection. I did a recent video on my superhero paperbacks, but this one was not in it because I didn't have it yet. So that was a great find. Now, one more item I just found recently, and then we'll get to my pre-pandemic pickups. Now, this one is just a ridiculous find. I was now I walk dogs a lot. I walk dog for dogs for wag and I walk my own dogs all the time. 
And I love to go walking on bulk pickup day when people put all their big and just bulky trash items out or just random trash items. You know, they'll put out boxes of stuff. Well, just around the corner from me, somebody put out um, just a box of random electronics and stuff. And, and I always look through that, you know, if it's right on top, if it's relatively clean and you can see it, you know, I'm not gonna be digging through there too much like a hermit unless I see something on top that just looks amazing. But a hermit, okay, whatever. Um, I found a PSP. They had put a PSP in their trash, just sort of on top there. And I already have a red PSP. I have the God of War edition, but uh, this is another red, another red PSP, but this one's just laying in the trash. Now it is worn, as you can see, it's scraped up and the lettering is worn off. And, um, but hey, what the heck, free PSP, even if it doesn't work. And so today I powered it up, I plugged it in uh, to a charger for maybe about an hour and I fired up Space Invaders Ex Extreme. There wasn't a game in it already. I just put my own copy of Space Invaders Extreme in there. It powered up great and it played great. All the buttons worked well, <clears throat> but then it stopped working. So I don't know if it won't hold a charge. I'm gonna plug it in again, maybe overnight or whatever. It may not hold a charge very long, but hey, it was free and maybe I can get it repaired or just sell it to somebody as a fixer upper. Whatever the case, when it's free, how can you complain? <clears throat> Now, I found a lot of video games pre-pandemic, and I want to show you those. Um, you know, just like I said, I'm always going into these just little retro shops, used bookstores, thrift stores, garage sales. I love it. It's a ton of fun. I love the thrill of the chase, and I found some cool items. You can see I still got those. A lot of these still have the price sticker on them because, I, like I said, I haven't processed these yet. I haven't cleaned them. I haven't, you know, figured out what I'm going to put in my collection and what I'm going to maybe sell at a retro gaming show. Not doing any shows right now, so I wasn't in a hurry to go through these, but there are definitely some items here I'm going to keep. Power Monger for the Genesis is like a real-time strategy game, and it's in one of those thick cases, like it had a thick manual in here, but this one did just have the cartridge, but it was only $2.99 at Half Press Books, and um, see, it had been marked down. They had it marked down from their original price. $2.99 for a real-time strategy game for the Genesis. That's a great deal. That's a keeper for sure. Really neat. Love that box. That is awesome. Uh, for the Wii, found Lego Batman 2. And that was at that was at a thrift store. You can see the little dollar $1.99 sticker there. Uh, I don't I like the Lego games. They're not quite hard-hitting and as intense as you know, I, I love 3D third-person games. The Lego games, I might sell this one, but I do like, like Batman, so I'll have to think about that one. So that's pretty neat. Halo 3 Essentials. Got that sucker for just $2 on clearance. I don't know why uh, Half Press Books would put a Halo 3 game of any type in clearance, but maybe it just sat there a while and uh, didn't sell, so it was just two bucks. Nice double disc edition. It is, you know, it has the manual in both discs. Really nice. Gonna keep that one. Big fan of Halo. Uh, the Halo games for the, another OG Xbox, Pac-Man World 2. That was at Half Price Books for $3. And it is in really nice condition. Manual and everything. Very cool. And let's see. Deadpool for the Xbox 360. Now, this was just $3. I was really surprised about this. The, the Xbox 360, still a very popular console. And Deadpool... Super popular character uh, with the movies and everything. I'm going to keep this. I'm going to play it. I haven't played it yet, obviously, because there was just in a stack in my office. But I'm going to keep it and check it out. This looks pretty cool. I haven't read any reviews or anything, but um, it looks pretty neat. And I'm sure it'll be funny as well, like the movies were. The Walking Dead Game of the Year edition for the Xbox 360. Just three bucks at Half Price Books. Another deal. Um, I, got, I used to love The Walking Dead, but I got burnt out. Uh, lay, in the later seasons, I just didn't like him very much. And Negan was kind of a cool character, but I thought they ran that too long. And, um, but, and this is by uh, a Telltale Games. It's you know from a Telltale Games series, and I believe Telltale Games went out of business. But regardless, for three bucks, can't lose. Young Justice Legacy. Now, I collect superhero games, so I'm definitely keeping this one. Again, this was just $3 at Half Price Books. That should be interesting. Young Justice is a really cool cartoon. Thunderstrike Operation Phoenix for the PS2. That was just $2. And most of these do come with the manual. 
And it's an excellent condition. Uh, the Thunderstrike series dates way back. I remember playing these games. I believe there's a Genesis one. And um, I'm keeping this. I'm going to check it out and see how it, hold, you know, how it compares to the older games. Very cool retro theme title there. Another retro title, Micro Machines. This is V4. I'm assuming that's Volume 4. And um, this was probably a half price uh, pickup. It doesn't have the sticker on it anymore, but you know, I like, I like the old Micro Machines, like for the NES, so I'll check it out too. Factory Sealed, Aragorn's Quest for the PS2. That was a half price books pickup. I believe I paid $2 for that. And I did, I think I was sitting in the car and I took the manual off. But that was a neat score. I don't know if the game is any good. I'll probably sell it. I mean, it's factory sealed. Maybe make somebody happy by putting it out for five or six bucks. Another Walking Dead game for the PS3. Now, I've told you guys before, I didn't get a PS3. Um, I, I was just mentioning in a recent video, in fact, my top 50 games that I'd never played God of War 3 for the PS3. Now, I did find it at Half Price Books pre-pandemic, and I picked it up for myself. I'm going to collect it. You know, I've got God of War 1 and 2. I might as well put 3 with the collection. I do have a PS3 that I've got sitting on a shelf that I picked up at a garage sale. It was just with a box of junk, and she just said, you know, take it all. And I don't even know if it has the hookups or anything, because I haven't really gone through it yet. But I do technically have a PS3, but I've never, uh, I've never had one. Uh, but I'm going to keep this, if nothing else, just to put with my other God of War games. And at some point, I know I will pick up a PS3. I'll either get the one I got at the garage sale, maybe get some hookups off eBay or at the local, you know, founded electronics. Regardless, I will play God of War 3 at some point, and I will have a PS3 at some point. It's just a matter of when, but this is, I'm going to hang on to, and it is in excellent condition for two, two freaking bucks for God of War 3, a legendary, epic, third-party hack and slash, or third-person hack and slash game that's just brilliant for two dollars. It's crazy. Gaming is so cheap now if you do it right. If you get games for the Xbox, the PS2, the PS3, uh, GameCube's getting a little expensive, but there's a lot of games uh, you know, from the last five, 10 years that you can get for dirt cheap. Dark Kingdom for the PS3. I picked that up because it was only $3 and I like that cover art. Check that out, that looks beautiful. Very cool. That's an art action RPG. I might check it out. Like, you know, like many of you guys know, I'm not a huge RPG fan, but I can get into some action RPGs. Now, you for you old school gamers, I picked up Superman, the telegames version. This is Superman for the Atari 2600 uh, and the standard uh, traditional Atari cartridge and design and box. It's um, much easier to find the Atari version, the official Atari version. This is the Sears version for the 2600 under their telegames label. And uh, you can see the labeling is different. I got that for $6 at Founded Electronics. That's a, a video game store near me. Uh, I live in Fort Worth, and this is near me in Watauga, Founded Electronics. Highly recommended. This is harder to find than the regular version, and I didn't have it in my collection, so that's definitely a keeper. Now we're going to get to some videos, but gamers, hang on, because there's some stuff here you like, you're going to like as well. Um, and there are a couple of gaming-related DVDs and things you're going to enjoy. But first... I went to Dollar Tree, and this was actually pretty recently. This was actually post-pandemic. This was, or, you know, in the middle of pandemic, I should say. Post-beginning of the pandemic. So Dollar Tree, go look through their DVDs every once in a while. What the heck? Everything in their store is a dollar. And I got Witches Not Out. This is a collection of 10 classic Halloween cartoons. I'm intrigued by that. Starring Gilda, Gilda Radner as the witch. And there's some other cartoons as well, like um, Felix the Cat, Casper... Uh, the Three Stooges and other stuff. So that'll be neat to crack into for a dollar. The Wonder Years Season 1. I absolutely love The Wonder Years. This is an excellent, excellent sitcom. It's sort of a dramedy because they deal with some serious topics like the Vietnam War and racism and the whole hippie culture. And this was basically my family, The Wonder Years, but set maybe eight to ten years before my family because I was basically the Kevin Arnold character. And my brother, uh, you know, was the middle child. And then my older sister that had a little bit of hippie tendencies like the older sister in the Wonder Years. My parents were similar uh, to their parents. My dad wasn't quite as grumpy. and uh, But anyway, Wonder Years is a great show and I love it. And obviously this is factory sealed. And this includes music by Jimi Hendrix, The Birds, Joni Mitchell, The Monkey, Steppenwolf, Smokey Robinson, and Joe Cocker. Excellent stuff. It's got special features. This is going to be a lot of fun to dig into. Another DVD set I got. This was, we're going back to pre-pandemic. 
I got the Huckleberry Hound Show. I got this at Half Price Books. It was just $3. I did take the label out. A lot of times when I'm sitting at a red light, I'll take labels off games I buy or movies I buy or whatever. If it's safe to do so without tearing it up later, I'll get goo gone if I have to. But just something like this with the plastic cover, it was easy to peel the sticker off. But Huckleberry Hound, that was a cool cartoon that I watched back in the day. Glad to add that. I will definitely keep that. Now, this one goes back to uh, Black Friday of all things. This was ran. This was what. This was in my office. This wasn't with this other pile, but I just found this laying around because I haven't mess I haven't watched it yet or opened it yet. But it's the uh, complete uh, Flash season. You know, I love the Flash TV show. It's awesome. The fifth season wasn't my favorite, but hey, on Blu-ray for Black Friday, it was just ten bucks. All right, we'll get back to the stacks in my office. Now, this was really a curiosity at Half Price Books. This was just two dollars. Talking Classics, signed by Keith Apicary. I would imagine they picked this up, whoever traded this into Half Price Books, they, they, take, they buy stuff from customers. They don't really take trades, they just give you straight up cash uh, for you know whatever you bring in. And um, this was just $2. And probably someone went to the Screw Attack Gaming Convention in Dallas, bought this, and watched it. It is hilarious, I already have it, so I'm just gonna resell it at a gaming show. And Keith Apicary is hilarious very funny and he did some really funny sort of jackass stunts at screw attack gaming conventions and at other shows and he's gotten kicked out of shows usually i don't like jackass type humor it's just kind of obnoxious and annoying and it sort of messes with the show promoters and just anybody there to, just to have a normal good time but keith apicary for some reason he gets a pass in my book i just think he's hilarious he cracks me up watch some of his youtube videos he's really funny and let's see Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, another half price books pickup. This was just three dollars. This is the original Teenage Mutant, the original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles uh, movie that I saw back when I was working at Lone Star Comics. Uh, I believe this came out in eighty nine, ninety around there sometime, and I thought it was great. I thought it was so much fun. The live action Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie, and I had been reading the comics. Um, since before then because I worked at Lone Star Comics. And I would read the black and white comics and then later I read the Archie comics and I really liked the movie. I thought it was a lot of fun. Glad to get, get that on Blu-ray. That's definite keeper. And I've got two more things to, pay, to show you. This one real quick and then a really cool item uh, last but not least. Uncensored Warner cartoons. Now this is a really neat VHS. It, it looks like maybe Someone made this in their basement because it looks like a photocopy, but it's got a lot of politically incorrect cartoons with Bugs Bunny and Goldilocks and the Jivin' Bears, the Duck Taters, so no telling what's gonna be in here. Stuff they probably couldn't show on TV today or at least would have to have a disclaimer. That should be interesting and I'm so glad we're much more aware, you know, racially sensitive and all that stuff these days, but those will be interesting to watch. Now, I said last but not least, it's last but not least for my DVDs. Then I have a few books I want to show you guys. And there's some gaming related stuff there as well. I got the complete collection of Robotalk, The Macross Saga. Now, it, it was just a coincidence that I had been watching this on, I believe it was Amazon Prime. I had never, I didn't watch this back in the day. It came out when I was a little older, my older teenage years. And I had, you know, cars and girls and jobs and all that stuff by this point. So I wasn't, I didn't watch Robotech. But of course, I know I've heard all about it since, and I sat down pretty recently to watch it streaming. And I just happened to find this nice DVD set, the complete collection of Ro Robotech, the Macross Saga. And I always like having the physical version of uh, movies, much more so than just streaming, because you'll always have them. Great find. I got this at a thrift store for just five bucks. Love it. Probably tore off the sticker in my car there, because it again is plastic, easy to do. So let me show you some books and comics I found, and then we'll wrap up the video. So I went to Heroes. Uh, that's a comic book store. Not Heroes. It's, um, what's the name? It Collected. It's owned, co-owned by the guy that used to own Heroes in the Fort Worth area. It's called Collected. And they had, they announced on Facebook, this was pre-pandemic, they were just doing a sale, 50 cents comics, just random stuff that they picked up recently. They were just going to throw the boxes out on the floor and not even go through them. I found some really cool stuff. Spotty Skill. 
Search Awards. Now this is, I love collecting these old superhero paperbacks. Like I mentioned earlier, this wasn't in my superhero paperbacks video as well because it was in the pile in my office. This is awesome. I love these. I love the art inside. Just super fun to collect. And I got comics in 3D. You DuckTales fans should get a kick out of this. Donald Duck fans. And check this out. Check out the Tiny Toons NES ad on the back. This is factory sealed with the 3D glasses. That was 50 cents as well. And I'm going to show you one more comic from that find. Spidey Super Stories. This was the, if you remember the electric company, they had Spider-Man segments, live action Spider-Man. And those were a lot of, when I was little, I loved those just because they had Spider-Man. Big superhero fan ever since I can remember, since I was probably four or five years old. Huge fan. <clears throat> And Spidey Super Stories they actually made a comic book series out of it. And these are kind of hard to find. Great deal for 50 cents. And at Half Price Books, uh, before the, again, before the pandemic, the Superhero Cookbook. This is really colorful. I love this. I don't know if I'll actually make any of these recipes. I probably should. But I love the old school art all through it. The designs, the superheroes I grew up with in the 70s and 80s. Just really colorful, beautiful art all the way through. That was a half press book score. And for you gamer fans, check this out. It is a Street Fighter II look and find. This was another half price books find. And it is just awesome. I, I'd owned one of these before, but I sold it at a uh, classic game fest. And I might keep it this time because it's really colorful. It's really neat. It's sort of like the old Where's Waldo books with the video game thing, awesome. And I love me some Street Fighter 2, great stuff. And last but not least, I found uh, the Transformers book, really cool hardcover book, the Autobots, the Autobots Secret Weapon. Nice, colorful book, children's book, in really excellent condition. This was just four bucks. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you for subscribing to the channel. This has been a long one, but I had a lot of pickups video. It was so much fun cleaning up my office. Well, cleaning the office wasn't that much fun, but it was super fun to find this awesome stash of stuff that I'd just been squirreling away before the pandemic, and I'm really happy to be able to show that to you guys. You guys have an awesome day, have an awesome week, and we will talk to you in the next episode. See you later.